so this is the OCR 21st century GCSE chemistry high tier paper and these are the details of the paper in front it's a November 2020 paper okay so we're doing question two so Beth has some tablets that react by fizzing and then dissolving when water is added Beth puts a whole tablet into tube A and a broken up tablet into tube B okay Beth wants to measure the rate of the two reactions this is Beth's method add the same volume of cold water to each test tube at the same time start a stopwatch okay when should Beth stop the stopwatch tick one box when the bubbles start to appear when the fizzing starts when the fizzing stops when only a small amount of tablet is left okay so we want to choose the option that tells us when the reaction has stopped because we're measuring the rate of the reaction we know Beth has started the stopwatch so that must have been at the start of the reaction but when when do we stop the stopwatch okay and that is when the reaction stops which of these are indicators for the reaction stopping um, so it's actually the third one okay when the fizzing stops because in this reaction we have fizzing happening if there's no fizzing that means the reaction has stopped okay the other ones don't indicate uh, if the reaction has stopped for example the first one when the bubbles start to appear it doesn't really say anything about bubbles appearing or disappearing so in this reaction it's about fizzing when the fizzing starts that's the start of the reaction uh, when only a small amount of tablet is left again the reaction has happened so the tablet is decreasing because uh, it's reacting to produce product but it's not completely disappeared so this is also not a good indicator for the reaction uh, stopping question AII which type of tablet whole or broken up will dissolve more quickly so we have to choose one of these options uh, explain your answer use ideas from the particle model in your answer for two marks so you might have guessed um, but based on experience that the broken up tablet will actually dissolve more quickly but you get your two marks for explaining your answer so for the first mark you need, you need to say the broken up tablet has more surface area exposed okay so if you think about it this is your whole tablet and then the smaller one is got lots of different pieces so there's more surface area exposed to the surrounding for your second mark you need to say what that does so that increased surface area uh, allows more successful coll collisions to happen um, the difference between a successful collision and a normal collision is that a normal collision is just the particles bump into each other and they bounce off each other there's no reaction a successful collision is when they bump into each other and they bring about a reaction okay so part B suggest one reason why the reactions are much faster using hot water so you need to, for this question you just need to talk about uh, in hot water the particles have more energy okay so they gain energy they bump into each other more they collide more often and obviously they have um, they bring about a reaction much faster okay so you could say there are more frequent collisions that can give you the mark you can say there are more successful collisions remember we said successful collisions bring about a reaction they have enough energy uh, called the activation energy um, so you could say that you can say particles gain activation energy any of those would give you the mark so I'm just going to include the first one from the mark scheme which is particles gain activation energy so the activation energy is the amount of energy the particles must have when they're colliding to bring about a reaction Okay, part C. Figure 2.2 shows how the mass of tube A and its contents changes over time when cold water is added. Okay, so the contents are what's inside the test tube. So mass of tube A and its contents in grams, uh, time in seconds. Okay, so this is a graph. So using figure 2.2, explain why the mass of tube A and its content decreases during the reaction. So whatever was in tube A, uh, so let's say this is tube A, there's a tablet and there's water, so we call them the reactants, okay, they're the things we start off with. The reactants in a reaction produce products. Now because in this reaction we have fizzing happening, this indicates that a gas is being produced. So one of the products is actually a gas and that just escapes into the air. So it doesn't stay inside, it goes, it escapes as a gas, okay, that's where this fizzing so that's why the mass decreases is because one of the products actually leaves the test tube and you have less content left because there is fizzing a gas is given off okay I I I um, sorry I I the rate of the reaction decreases with time describe how figure 2.2 shows this so how does this graph tell you that um, the rate of the reaction is decreasing? So you just need to say that the gradient is decreasing because be before we have a steep gradient. So the, this line you can see is steep first 
and then as we go across um, that line becomes more shallow okay so the gradient is decreasing that's why the rate is decreasing and for the final part explain why the rate of reaction decreases with time so that links back to what I said about what happens in a reaction so we have reactants they produce products okay as reactants react together they get used up so this decreases okay and as the products are formed the product increases so let's just say we had lots of particles of reactants before so that's before after we have less reactants so we just have a few because they're getting used up and they're producing lots of product so there's less collisions between the particles because there's fewer of them okay so you, you just need to say for this question the rate decreases as the number of reactant particles decreases okay